Welcome to this week's episode of Success and Women. I'm happy to be here to share a little bit of insight on if you're feeling stuck. Maybe you feel like, you know, you should be further ahead in your career or you're not making progress at home or you're having some challenges with your friends. Do you ever feel like you're just stuck? That you know that you're meant to be more than what you are at this point in your life? I remember even as a a young child feeling that I wasn't as good as some of the other kids, whether it was in sports or talent, you know, in school, like uh, we had to um, take music lessons. I wasn't musically inclined, not with voice, not with instrument, not with anything, but I felt stuck because I wanted to do better. And whatever I do, I always try my best, but sometimes I feel like my best isn't enough. And then what happens is that I start having a lot of self doubts and then I start holding myself back. And sometimes we feel that we don't deserve to get ahead. And again, we've talked about limiting beliefs in you know, another episode, but it's more than that. Sometimes it's that lack of motivation. It's, you know, different things going on. Maybe the news is getting you down because everything seems so negative that it's kind of like, why bother? And all of these are keeping you in that rut because you can't see beyond it. But sometimes like a fire, you got to stir it up. You got to change things up around where all of a sudden the embers that you used to feel inside you are still there. And you've got to get them to coming out again. You know, there's a lot of things that keep people back, whether it's external or whether it's internal and you're doing it to yourself. But maybe you're letting the external get into the internal and that's why you're stuck in this rut. But you know, they always say, this is not a dress rehearsal. And it's one of the reasons why every day matters. Well, if every day matters, then shouldn't we be doing something to make a difference? To make a difference in our life? Other people's lives? Something that gets us more motivated so that we work even harder, smarter. I'm not saying longer. I'm one of these people that it's well balanced as far as taking time off and working because when I'm working, I work hard and I'm very focused, but I also understand there's that need for the downtime. But even with all of that, sometimes I feel that I'm holding myself back, that I'm stuck in a rut of nothing really changing. And I'm a person who loves change. Now, I like positive change. Obviously, I don't like the negative. But on the other hand, sometimes the negative change will inspire us to do something different. And then all of a sudden now, we can use that negative change and start moving forward in a very positive way. But you're not alone if you feel stuck in that rut. Sometimes you feel like you're drowning and it's so high to get to the surface just to get your head above water that you feel like it's never going to change. But you know what? Never say never because sometimes it's that next thing step or that next thing that you do or that next person you talk to that all of a sudden is going to make all the difference and the big 
positive changes that's going to help you get out of your ruck, rut and get you unstuck is all of a sudden just around the corner. But too often, we give up just before the change is going to happen. And I know I'm guilty of this because I've done a lot of different things. And I'm just thinking, why? I'm not getting anywhere. It's, it's not making a difference. I don't feel like I'm getting ahead in any way, shape, or form. Why do I keep doing this? And then I give up. And then before you know it, something that I've thought about, something that I was working on or whatever, all of a sudden it's out there, but somebody else has brought it out to the public. Whether it's an idea, a book, whatever. And I'm thinking, well, that could have been me. But it wasn't me because I gave up too soon. And even, and I am determined with my partner who's not right here, um, still under the weather, but hopefully she'll be well soon enough. But the thing is, this is something that we're both determined that we're not going to give up. And if it takes five years, 10 years, we're not giving up. We're going to be here helping to support other women on their journey. Now we've had a lot of life experiences and we want to share that. But on the other hand, if we're not getting, I'll say the subscribers or followers or the, the likes and shares, we might feel like we're not making a difference. But do you know that anything that you set out to do, sometimes you might only affect a very small amount of people but even one person that you've influenced and changed can make all the difference in their life that makes it all worthwhile in your life. So it would be great to have a lot of people listening and following us and sharing and giving positive feedback and actually giving feedback, you know, on things that they want to hear about and, and things that we may have gone through or people we know because we will be bringing guests onto the show. That's going to be happening in the near future. But we need to know what it is, women, you need. What do you need from us? Because my co-host, Andrea, and myself, we are committed and we're not going to give up. And there may have been many things in our lives that we've given up on just before good things would have happened. Now, I'm not saying we had a bad life. Obviously, we have a great life um, because it is what you make it. But I think most of us go through times where we feel like we're not moving forward. And that rut is getting deeper and it feels like there is no way out. So then you have to ask yourself, what can I do to make a change? What will motivate me? What will I need to do to make myself feel like the direction I'm going, it's a direction I want to go in. And again, because whether it's for work or your family or your friends, you gotta always be moving up in your life. And I'm not talking about money. Money is great and sometimes it's an indicator of your success, but it's not always an indicator because everything you do, whether it's for money or just for pleasure and self-satisfaction, it's got to be something that's positive within you. And money is great because it helps you to live the lifestyle that you want to live. But it won't necessarily make you happy inside. It won't even necessarily make the people around you happy. Because it depends on what you do with the money. And sometimes even just want, wanting to be generous with your family and friends 
could give them a feeling that you're just showing off. So there's that fine line. So money is not the level and the measure of your success. It's going to be the whole picture. Only you know what makes you happy. Only you know what you want out of life. Only you know what it's going to take. Only you can make that happen. But you can have that happen knowing that there are people always willing to help you. If only you would ask. So maybe today is the day you want to see if those embers of fire that you used to have is still deep down inside you that you can just stir it up a bit and make a difference. It's Friday and Fridays are always a great day because the weekend is here. And I love what I do, but I always look forward to the weekend. And now I've set myself some goals because you know, I've just come back from my road trip and even with that, I felt like I've been away from you for so long, but I really haven't at all. It's just things were different while I was on the road for the last few days. Now I did take some film of my road trip and I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna share it or not. Again, no makeup, plain Jane kind of thing because I'm in the car for hours at a time. But when I was driving back to Canada, I thought, Things have to change. I need a change. What's it gonna take? And then I thought, you know what? The change I'm really looking forward to is helping and supporting more of you. So I want my message to be that even though I sometimes feel like I'm in a rut, I am going to now come up with all the things that I can do to make that change, to feel like I'm not in a rut. And even though I'm not progressing as quickly as I would like to with our show, I know that the messages that my partner and I, Andrea and I share with you are helping some of you. We can't help all of you, but every week we're going to try to give some of you some motivation, some ideas, and know that you're not alone, that we all go through different things and different challenges in our life, but there's always a way to get it out. Think of the big picture. And you know, there's always been that saying, it's that don't sweat the small stuff. And in the end, it's all small stuff. There's always going to be people worse off than you, but there's also going to be people better off. And those people that are better off may be the inspiration that you're looking for to say, if they can do it, I can do it. And just set yourself with a new goal, a new mindset, and a new happy place you want to end up in taking little baby steps and all of a sudden you feel like I'm making something happen. And ladies, don't forget, reward yourselves in whatever way. Maybe it's just taking a bubble bath and relaxing for half an hour, but whatever it is, make sure that you feel the steps you're taking, the accomplishments you're making, that you can actually reward yourself because not everybody is necessarily going to acknowledge or even notice. But as long as you do, you're doing well. So this is Linda signing off for this week. And remember ladies, stir it up. You can do it.